In recent years, we've had significant fire threats in the Latrobe Valley, where there are three large coal mines in continuous operation. We have three coal mines in the Latrobe Valley, one at Yalorn, one at Hazelwood, and one at Loyang. Those coal mines uh, operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and supply about 90% of the state's coal supply. Each of the mines are various ages. Yalorn is the oldest mine, Hazelwood's middle, and Loyang is the newest mine. Very similar in their operations, each supplying coal on a continuous basis. You know, the perimeter would be 10 to 20 kilometres around some of the mines. The depth, we're talking over 100 metres deep from top to bottom. Some of the dangers, heavy plant and equipment operating in the mine. So we have large bucket wheel excavators or dredges as they're called. Within the mine, there are, there are 80 to 100 kilometres of conveyors that, that are operating to supply the coal. 100 kilometres of road networks, there can be a road uh, that's in the mine uh, one day and the next day that road has been uh, dug up. You've got to be very aware of the, uh, the, the operation of a mine, the situation within the mine. Vertical uh, batters or vertical walls in the mine could, could be up to 30 metres drops over edges, so working in around those environments pose a danger. There's been quite a few fires here over the years in, in Latrobe Valley. Our approach is to have a fast determined attack to get the fire under control. Coal mine fires present complex response challenges for us and the community. Emergency services and government agency work closely with coal mine operators to improve emergency response and coordination. With that in mind, it is crucial that all emergency service members involved in emergency response at or near coal mines are aware of the following. Integrated response with the mine operators. The focus of the emergency response must be on integration with the crews who operate with the mines daily and provide support to their initial attack. Emergency responders must report to and be briefed by the mine operator. Specific threats to coal mine fires. Elevated levels of particulates and carbon monoxide. Unstable ground that can move or collapse a highly flammable environment and complex internal roads are just some of the challenges specific to responding to a coal mine fire. You must be fully briefed ahead of entering the mines as the threat landscape is significantly different and safety of our people must be paramount. Coordinate the response with existing mine equipment. Heavy earth moving equipment, high pressure sprinkler systems and infrared monitoring systems are some of the equipment used by mine operators. It's important we utilise every possible tool we can to minimise the threat as quickly and as safely as possible. Causes of fires could be a mechanical failure, so a hot roller on a conveyor could start a fire. Vehicles has been a, a source of ignition in previous fires we've had in, in Latrobe Valley. A lot of our vehicles are modified exhaust, modified brakes because we drive over the coals. The other key area is fire from outside the mine. So it's a bushfire or a grass fire from around the mine that, that coming into the mine and igniting the uh, exposed brown coal. So we do a lot of work mitigating the area around all of the mines uh, and our extensive uh, pipe network within the mine uh, allows us to put sprays on to both the working areas and the non-working areas to prevent fire coming in and the spread of fire if it's an internal ignition. These mines have less than 24 hours coal buffer, so any interruption to the operations could quickly impact on electricity supplies. So when there is a fire, a lot of times the mine needs to keep operating. One of the challenges uh, with coal mine fires uh, during the day, we might see a lot of smoke, we might see a lot of steam, but generally we don't see a lot of fire. Unless the wind really gets up, there's, there's not much fire behaviour that you can see during the day. But at night, the sparks are very visible and uh, the areas that you can see uh, that are actually on fire are more visible at night than what they are during the day. During the day we use thermal imaging cameras, we use um, forward looking infrared from helicopters if they're available, and those sorts of things to determine where the hot spots are. I think one of our biggest challenges is the PF, the pulverised fuel. There's a lot of it around, it's highly volatile. 
Uh, dust explosions can be quite serious. They are basically a chain reaction that can take place inside a bunker or a rising conveyors. In a serious situation, they can actually take conveyor systems offline, spread fire throughout the structure and cause massive structural damage to the power station itself. There are a lot of misconceptions, believing that a coal mine fire is a surface fire. One of the biggest challenges of coal mine fires are the cracks in the coal, and the, the fires can actually go quite deep within those cracks. So although a fire may look to be extinguished on the surface, and it may have been cooled down, it may not necessarily be the case, could be some, um, some fire actually burning underneath the coal surface. With a coal fire, there's an endless supply of fuel, so even though we've gone across and we've, we've put water on the fire, and looks like the fire's out, that creates another problem because once the water dries off, the original fuel is actually still there and it will still burn. The coal mine environment is large, volatile and complex, even without a fire present. We as Victorian Emergency Service must be aware of these very specific threats and prepare accordingly. Safety is absolutely paramount. Safety measures and, and safety protocols are put in place for a reason. Don't take them lightly. Those safety precautions and those conditions and requirements at an incident are there for a reason. They're there for your health, they're there for your safety. So observe them, adhere to them and don't flaunt them because that is the difference between becoming a casualty or successfully fighting a fire in a coal mine.